Offer turned down for forward as concerns arise regarding Edu's decision. Heading into the 2023-24 season, Arsenal will be filled with confidence following their triumph over title contenders Manchester City in the Community Shield match on Sunday. The Gunners secured the victory through a late deflected goal from Leandro Trossard and a penalty shootout, breaking an eight-match losing streak against Pep Guardiola's team. Mikel Arteta and his squad are optimistic that this hard-fought win signifies a promising future after a productive summer. Wembley saw the debuts of Declan Rice, Jurian Timber, and Kai Havertz, all of whom were high-profile signings during the summer transfer window. With the transfer window not closing until September 1st, there remains ample time for additional deals to take place. While Arsenal is still pursuing a fourth signing, namely Brentford goalkeeper David Rea, there are also a few players who might depart in the upcoming weeks. Below are the latest rumours involving the club. Balogun bid rejected. Follerin Balogun is a highly sought-after player this summer, and Arsenal have declined an offer from Monaco for the young forward. Balogun made a strong impression while on loan at Reims last season, and Monaco is eager to sign him, especially since Briel Embolo sustained a serious knee injury. While Thiago Scuro has a good rapport with Arsenal's Edu, the Gunners have rejected the initial proposition. It's understood that Arsenal would be willing to sell Balogun at the right price, which could potentially reach up to £43 million. This valuation has deterred Inter Milan so far, who are in need of a striker after the departures of Romelu Lukaku and Edin Dzeko. Eyebrows raised over Rea move. Arsenal are making significant efforts to secure the services of Rea from Brentford, as the Spanish goalkeeper is expected to join the club and compete with Aaron Ramsdale for the starting goalkeeper position, while Matt Turner is on his way to Nottingham Forest. Despite Brentford placing a £40 million price tag on Rea, Arsenal remains confident that they can negotiate the fee downwards after Turner's departure is finalised. Former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon expressed his astonishment at these developments. Rea is an exceptional goalkeeper, highly skilled with his footwork, and meets all the necessary criteria. The intriguing aspect lies in what Arteta has communicated to him, Dixon commented. If he does indeed sign, what assurances has Arteta given him and how has he presented the club's vision to Rea? Has he conveyed that performing well will secure his role as the first-choice goalkeeper? It's a thought-provoking scenario, underscoring the club's and the manager's decision to bring in another goalkeeper. While it surprised some, I wasn't entirely caught off guard, though it did spark my curiosity. Gunners interested in Fatty. The Gunners are among the clubs demonstrating interest in Fatty, who still has four years remaining on his contract featuring an astonishing £860 million release clause. Arsenal's pursuit of the young talent remains steadfast, undeterred by his hefty valuation and Fatty's desire to remain and compete for a spot at Barcelona.